Hello and welcome to the fifth edition of uh, the Hump Day Bogart Special. And uh, today I'm just going to give you an update, really. I thought you would uh, appreciate that on the state of the album, really. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'm going to be recording the ghost vocals for the final song, so we've nearly got them all done in terms of kind of foundations of everything. Um, and ghost vocals are just so you can follow along with the lyrics and make everything easier. Um, and the, for that final song, I think that's the one that's based on Key Largo. Um, and they're all sounding pretty good so far, uh, as always, whenever I hand any of my uh, songs over to the wonderful Dawn and Richie Firth Gobby here, my uh, producer, guitarists and bassists and general all-round um, very talented people. Uh, they turn them into something wonderful. Uh, so I'm going to try and you can have a listen to a clip of In a Lonely Place. So you can have a listen to a clip of classic romance. And <laughs> I am literally just pointing in there and pa pausing because I know I'm going to have to add that in. Um, so once I've got those ghost workers done, they send them back and forth to me, as we're not allowed to meet up yet, obviously. Um, and then we kind of work on them that way. It's been a weird process because don't, we don't normally normally we get in a studio and kind of uh, work them all out or get together with a band and work them all before we record them. Um, so this is an interesting new process, which I, it, it's working all right, actually, quite like it. Um, so once we've got those done, we're going to send them off to a drummer, um, who, they might be quite a good drummer doing it, um, I'm just waiting to see if they can do it, so I won't mention that just yet. Um, and then we'll add bits on top of that once the drums are done. Um, and the saxophone is being done by uh, George Chalmers. They should be with me pretty soon. And then I can do the final vocals and try and do my harmonies on it, as uh, some of the producers that worked with me before. I am still learning on doing harmonies and getting um, things, uh, notes in the right place, but uh, we do get it right eventually. Um, so then those will be done. So that is the state of the actual song so far. It's very exciting. And hopefully the first single should be with you in June along with the music video and I've been talking to my animator uh, and that's very exciting too um, we should be starting it this month and what we're working on it should be uh, an animation but using a paper cutout which uh, I think sounds pretty cool um, and uh, I'm going to try and keep you updated on all that and maybe give you little um, insights into how that's going so uh, keep an update on this and on my social media you'll be able to see little bits um, and then I'm attempting to do my album artwork my process normally um, is a little bit haphazard either I get an in idea straight in my head and I just uh, put it down um, or I have to uh, I've written down here I doodling pondering and experimenting and then accident so that's normally how uh, the artwork works out it's also how my GCSE and A-level art worked out. Works well for GCSE, not for A-level, because they like you to show what you've been doing. So, um, Mrs. Mallet, my old art teacher, if you see this, I am trying to plan this out. I have an idea for these. I always love um, the posters for all these films, all the 40s, 50s films, all the bogeys films. I always find, I don't know if some of you do, that the uh, if they use it for a picture and then paint over the top of it, 
they get bogey perfect. But some people really do. Some of the artists that you sometimes really don't get bogey on point. I'm like, how can you not? I mean, he's got really distinctive eyes. If you get the eyes right, you, you're pretty spot on. If you get the mouth and nose right, you, you're, you're almost halfway there. But some of them are really way out. Um, that's my little uh, rant for today. Um, but I've been um, on Pinterest and looking at all the old um, posters, which I love, um, and trying to work out how they do it, um, taking a vague inspiration from it. Um, I've got my little art book here. I've got a bigger one. Oh, I've got loads of them, actually. Um, I realised uh, in this old art book, I thought you'd like to see it. It's nothing to do with it, but I did a little doodle bogey a while ago. So there you go. It's, I think that's from the clip in a lonely place. Um, but this is my little doodle, doodle book. I thought you'd like to see some of that. My little ideas so far. I'm not good with the camera. I think that little doodle of bogey turned out all right. And yes, that's a little doodle of me. No, not that one. That one's rubbish. And it's kind of oh, the camera's there. It's like those um. It's the way they use the colours and the they've got little figures and then they have a, like a big face in the background. So like sometimes they do it like Lauren Bacall's face and then bogey in a little miniature. It's something I'm playing around with anyway. Um, it might not turn out that way with most of my artwork. It then um, well, that was a really bad version of bogey actually. It was me quick sketching. Um, and I've also got to figure out all the artwork for in the CDs. Um, I lost my train of thought now. I hate it when I do that. Um, but like most things in my artwork, that's what I was saying. Um, it kind of uh, can take a completely different direction when I think, oh, that looks cool, I'll use it. Um, as uh, you'll see on most of my other EP artworks. Um, and also I'm very old fashioned and I draw and paint all my own things out um, and then I've got to somehow get that onto a computer and then I fiddle about with it on the computer not on anything fancy uh, I'm not very good with uh, Photoshop I don't own Photoshop actually it's too much, um, too many buttons and too many things to fiddle with so uh, I'm really that bad a whole load of uh, digital people or um, I can't think of their names people are very good with computers will probably cringe now because I say I literally I just use the um, editing bits on the preview when you open a, an image um, I quite like the limitations of trying to work within that but uh, <laughs> it's really not specialized I'm really not specialized um, so yeah later this evening I'm gonna be sitting down um, I've got some tracing paper and I've got buggy's face um, I've printed out and I'm going to draw around it and see what I can come up with. Um, I've got a vague idea of uh, trying out outlines and things. But hopefully I'll do him some justice. I'm trying to pick that one. I've just been going through a lot. That's the one um, benefit of this, is I get to go through uh, all the pictures and stare at his face and work out which ones will probably work best. Um, I quite like that one really. Uh, and hopefully um, I won't do it too badly. Uh, this is a short one today. Um, next week I'm talking about the third song, third one, not good with maths, um, which will be the Maltese Falcon inspired one, which is called Sam. And that's my little, I've still got that in there. And we'll talk about that. Uh, if there's anything you want me to channel on about, or anything um, you uh, would like mentioned, uh, give me a shout. And hope you're all having a nice time in the lovely weather. And I will talk to you next week. I'm going to go and draw bogey.